Hey YouTube, so in this video I want to talk about how I lost 8 pounds in 2 weeks. Now for those who don't know me, welcome. My name is Jordan. I feel like I'm not really looking at the camera. My name is Jordan and um, I started this weight loss challenge 2 weeks ago. For those of you who are doing that, let me know in the comments below how it's going for you. And I've also lost 80 pounds within the um, past 6 months in 2017 so I kept my weight off and I went on this weight loss challenge because I felt that in order for me to just be successful mentally and physically and for this channel to even go somewhere that I need to set the example and go back to what I was doing so Basically, last week I've lost three pounds, and this week I've lost five pounds. Um, what I did differently was that I didn't overeat. I didn't binge eat. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Walmart, I used to buy those Chubani yogurts. I used to buy like seven of them, and I used to eat it with like a steak fiesta salad. And I would do that twice a day. Twice a day, and then I would go to sleep afterwards. Or I would just do that once a day and it would be at night and then I would go to sleep. And it was definitely unhealthy and it was definitely binge eating and emotional eating. And I did it just simply because I wanted to do it. And so I decided, you know what, I need to go back to what I was doing before. Because when I had my shirt on, my work shirt on, I felt like in the back, at the bottom in my back, I felt that, you know... I was getting a corn roll, like something was growing, like I was getting a little chubby. So I, and the pants that I'm wearing now, uh, simply a uh, size 34 waist, I was like a size 38, 80 pounds ago, almost a size, pretty much like a size 40. Um, I decided, you know, I was like, I gotta stop because these pants right now were getting tight. So I simply, uh, I ate, for my first week I ate lunch and dinner. And then I, of course, had a window, a four-hour window, and I didn't eat before I went to sleep. Um, and then this week, I pretty much just ate in the middle of the day. Like, literally, I just ate like two hours ago. Um, I ate, um, what I ate? I ate my Caesar salad uh, with some hummus, and then I ate it with a banana and a yogurt. That's pretty much what I'm eating for the whole day. Um... And why you ask? Because I am simply working on waking up early. You know, for those of you who don't know, like I live on my own now and I'm still like I'm struggling like mentally and I'm just trying to get adapted to like my whole life situation um, and whatnot. And I'm living on my own. I still struggle like waking up like in the morning. Like I literally would wake up and I just would not want to do anything. Like I would just like lay there and go back to sleep. Um, and simply just stay there until like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. The only time I would literally leave the house is if I have work in the morning. Um, and I would just eat like that one time and then I would upload it on YouTube, go to the bookstore or whatever, um, Barnes & Noble library, and I would upload, um, I would upload, uh, my YouTube video and do whatever I do over there. So... That's simply what I what I did, and I have lost a total of eight pounds. Now this week, I believe I lost two pounds extra, was because um, like literally some days, like I didn't even want to even like there was just one day where I made my fish, like I made like two pieces of fish, and I made it with an omelet, and I put. Uh, my my onions, my jalapeno peppers, I put mushrooms and all of that, and I made it all in a salad with croutons and all that, and I just, I didn't want to eat it, simply because, I don't know, I just, I just got tired of fish, so I didn't eat it. So, what I did was, I got my oatmeal, this is way off, but I got my oatmeal that was in a pack, and I got my unsweetened Hershey's um, cocoa powder, and I just mixed it together, and I just ate it like that. Like, I ate, like, three packets of those. Um, and then also because I feel like I only ate like one meal a day, um, and, and I'm not saying I lost five pounds because I only ate one meal a day because clearly I ate three meals 
two to three meals a day. Literally, you can eat five meals a day, and I still lost like 80 pounds within six months. It's just all about what you eat, how much of it you eat, and and whatnot. Um, so I know a lot of you guys are struggling out there, and I know a lot of you guys, you know, want to lose weight, and you guys feel like, okay, well, Jordan's got it down pat. You know, why not? He do like meal prepping, like show us, you know. What, I, what I'm eating and whatnot. Um, I, I'm definitely, I'm going to do that. You know, I know I said that a hundred times, but I'm definitely going to do that. But it's all about research. It's literally all about research. Like if I were to eat three meals right now, a day, so I would start over, I'm back to 2.30. I would eat like an oatmeal. I will put some blueberries in it. I will put some banana. I would put some... I would put some almonds in it, and I will put some uh, sugar-free or like the raw honey on top of it, and that would be my breakfast. And then for dinner, I would eat maybe like a chicken breast with some broccoli and some carrots and some cauliflower. That's what I really want. Like I really wanted to do with the oatmeal and this for my lunch. And then for dinner, I would repeat the same thing. And then also, like I can have a side with that. Like I can have an apple or an orange or like a yogurt or even. The little parfait I used to use, like the non-fat Greek yogurt with some her her unsweetened Hershey's cocoa powder um, mixed up in it with some uh, peanut butter powder that are 85% less fat than original peanut butter uh, with some bananas and blueberries and with some almonds on top of it and some raw, um, raw honey or some sugar-free honey. And literally, like, I would lose weight just simply just by doing that consistently. Um, I would just lose weight. Uh, so the fact that uh, that's not dieting. That's just me eating, like, normal foods, but including my vegetables and including everything. Not overindulging in, like, sweets and all of that. But at the same time, having that sweet tooth, but substituting it with something healthy. It's all about doing your research. Like, literally, there's a whole bunch of resources out there. You can search YouTube videos. That's where I got the parfait from. You can research, like, articles. And you can definitely find things that you love now that are essentially unhealthy for you and substitute it for something that's, you know, within your favor, that's healthy. And it would you would still have the same satisf satisfaction of eating, like, a Reese's peanut butter cup or a Snickers bar or a Hershey's bar like I'm, or an ice cream. Like, I'm telling you, it's just all about research. I know, like, you know, it's it's even tough to even sit there and do the work and do the research. I get you. I understand. Because mentally, it's tough for me to even get through life. <laughs> so, but that's basically what I did. That's all I did. That's basically what I did. You know, there's no secret or anything whatsoever. Um... Like, I'm saving up to buy me a new camera. Like, I'm saving up to buy me, like, one of those big tripods so I can start filming better videos. And, you know, I'm. this is what I want to do. I want to do YouTube. I want to be an entrepreneur. Um, you know, that's what I want to do. It's definitely one of what I want to do. But anyways, you guys, um, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you give me a thumbs up. And if you comment below to let me know what you thought about this video, where I can improve, and also to just let me know about how your weight loss is going. And for those of you, Juanita, uh, Carly, um, Gigi, like y'all gotta let me know. Um, Ro Lizzie, like what happened to you? Like y'all gotta let me know in the comments below. Y'all the one that's on his weight loss challenge. Let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know how you doing. And Paula, my friend, keep going. Keep, keep, keep trying, keep journaling. And I'm thinking about doing a journal for mentality sake. You know, I've never really sat there and consistently do a journal for mental sake. And I think that would actually help me because it helped me with my weight loss. So I'll see you guys later. Take care.